Hey everyone, thanks for joining in with another practice with Laura and Jenny. Today's Invigorate practice is all about the back body, kind of a slow and nice mindful burn type of flow. We'll be strengthening the back body as we previously worked on the full circumference of the abdominals, um, which in mostly included back of the spine, where today is going to be all about the back of the legs. So we're specifically targeting strengthening the three glute muscles, so one on the back and two on the sides of the hips and the hamstrings, working toward like push down to lift up type poses. We're going to be offering some playtime um, using a variation on an arm balance with a chair or a stool. So if you do have a chair that has a back that is no higher than your hip crease um, and a blanket, feel free to grab that as well for some what we call advanced chair yoga. Otherwise, just a bolster or a blanket for end of practice rest time. So again, if you need to pause to find that chair if you want to use it, it's not required for today, just a little fun. Otherwise, we're going to go ahead and get started on our bellies today. So when you're ready, create your space, start your music, come on down, stack your palms, and just rest your forehead down on your hands for a few moments. Wiggle out any tension in your legs. Take a couple just very easy, relaxed breaths. Try to relax the back body. Give yourself time just to enjoy where you are now, how easy and gentle it feels just to be on your stomach, knowing that we will be working to strengthen the whole back line. Take this time just to enjoy actually letting it relax, how it feels to let all the muscles soften, how it feels to ground the front body rather than your back body. Now take the arms and stretch them out wide to a T position, otherwise known as airplane arms. Bend your left elbow, put the left hand on the floor. Roll onto your right hip. You're going to roll all the way onto that hip so your left leg can either just stack on top of your right or the left foot can come back behind you. This is the knee bends, put it on the earth. This is also known as a T-spine stretch. A couple breaths here. Roll on back to the navel, stretch the left arm out, switch sides, bend the right, roll onto your left hip. Let the leg relax, let the foot maybe come down to earth. And then roll on back to your belly. Take your time, no rush. And staying on your belly, slide your hands at your sides. Turn the palms face down. Imagine as though the hands were pulling the ground forward, and as you inhale, lift your chest. Keep your legs down. Pull with the heel of the hand forward. Exhale and let the chest lower back down. Ground your forehead. Keep the hands down. As you inhale, start to pick up your legs and stretch your toes back toward the back of your mat. Strengthen the back of the legs. The exhale, release the legs down. And take the arms out wide, fingertips to earth. Bend the elbows. Inhale and lift your chest like cobra. Dip your left shoulder down, twist to your right. Inhale, pick it back up. Dip your right shoulder down, twist to your left. Inhale, come back, and then lower the chest down. Plant your hands, press to child's pose. Knees a little bit wider than hips. Sink the hips back to heels. Rest the forehead on the earth and outstretch your arms. Take a deep breath. Wiggle out any last little bit of tension. As you inhale, shift the body forward into table pose, neutral spine. And exhale, get the hips back to your heels, child's pose. Just a flow for your hips. Keep it easy. Inhale, shift forward, table pose. And exhale, back in a child's pose. Movement with breath. Inhale, shift forward, 
table posture. Exhale, child's pose, hips to heels. Stay here for just a moment. Sink in a little bit deeper in your balasana. Shift back forward into table pose. Then bring your knees a little closer together. Draw the belly in and extend your right leg back, hip height no higher. Turn the right toes out like you do in one-legged down dog. And draw the right knee open to your right side, bring it around. And then close the right knee into your navel. Stretch the right leg straight back. Turn your right toes out to the right. Draw the right knee up toward your right arm. Don't touch it. And draw the knee down. Stretch the right leg back one more time. Rotate the toes. Open it to your right side like a frog. And then lower. And then lower the knee down all the way. Left side. Send the leg back, turn the toes open, draw the left knee over toward the left ribs, hold, pull it into your navel, stretch the leg back, open your left toes, go slow, draw it to your left, pull it into your navel. One more reach back, kick through the heel, open the toes, external rotation, draw it to your left, hold, Draw the knee in and set it down. Slightly closed knee child's pose, so it doesn't have to close all the way. Just bring the knees in a little closer as the hips pull back to your heels. In other realms of fitness and wellness, those might have been a variation on what's called fire hydrants. Really just an effective way to get into your outer hip, outer glute muscles. Go ahead and make your way to downward facing dog and stretch it all out. If you want to bend into each knee and slowly shift weight left and right. Today's word of the day, if you will, is mindfulness. So try to go slow. Try to go slower than you usually do. Matching with breath if you can, but mostly just take your time to feel how the fibers, tissues lengthen. Stretch your right leg into the air. Keep your toes turned down. Keep your hip neutral, facing down to the earth. Draw your belly in and shift forward to one-legged plank. Again, leg is no higher than your hip. Lower is harder. Stretch the right leg back into one-legged dog. Lead with the bottom of your foot. And then take the right knee into your navel. Step the foot forward in between your hands to lunge. Lower your back knee. Stay onto your fingertips. Now tuck the left toes under. Drive the left heel back like you're kicking into a pedal. And as you inhale, lift the knee. Keep your right knee where it is stable. Exhale, left knee lower. Inhale, lift the knee, just stretching the front of the hip. Exhale, lower. Inhale, lift the knee. And pause here in your lunge. Lower the back knee. Now lift the back knee again. Plant your left hand. Turn your right arm up to the ceiling. Take a gentle revolve lunge pose. And exhale, lower the right hand down to the earth. Step the foot to plank pose, draw the navel in, push away the floor. Both knees come down, control. And just to open up the wrist here a little bit, flip the palms. We take the back side of the right hand on the floor. Not too much pressure, but enough that it stretches. And then flip and take the back side of your left hand on the floor. So we're going to do a lot with the wrist today. And then release the left hand. Turn all 10 fingertips out toward the sides of your mat. Now this might be enough for some people. If you're getting the green light, go ahead and turn five or all 10 fingertips back toward your knees. And if it still feels okay, rock the hips back and forward just a couple times. You should get a nice stretch in your forearms. Turn the hands back around and stretch it on back in a downward facing dog. Take an inhale, stretch the left leg straight back, toes should be pointing down, so neutral rotation, hip is not open. Shift forward, one-legged plank, again, neutral in your hips. 
And inhale, lead with the foot, lift back to one-legged down dog like you're pushing the foot back. Knee into your belly, step the left foot in between your hands to lunge. So a lot of this work should be led by the back of your body. Lower the back knee, curl the toes, inhale, lift the knee. Exhale, lower it, low lunge. Inhale, lift the knee. Exhale and lower. Inhale, lift the knee. Exhale and lower. Last time, inhale, lift the knee. Plant your right hand and twist your left arm, revolve lunge. Take your gaze up and just breathe here for a moment. Exhale, hand comes to the floor. Step it on back into plank pose. Nice strong plank, big inhalation. And like you're gripping the mat, trying to pull it apart, lower all the way down to the floor with control. Slide the hands back at your sides, turn the palms face down, touch the floor with the palms of your hands. Like your hands are trying to pull the floor forward toward your cheeks. On your inhale, lift your chest. Pull, pull, pull with your hands. Squeeze your shoulder blades in. Exhale, lower the chest. Good. Now try to push those hands back as you lift the legs. Fly. Exhale, lower the legs. Inhale, pull with the hands. Lift your chest. Now tone the legs. Lift your feet. Squeeze your shoulders. Lift your hands. Full Shalambhasana. Palms still face down. Exhale, return, plant the hands, push through a plank, and go to down dog. Again, the first few m minutes of class are just about warming up the body, training the areas we want to train. Go ahead and take it up to the top of your yoga mat, come to a, a forward fold. And then we're going to lift up into a high halfway lift. So shoulders as high as your hips, arms reach back like locusts, mild bend in your knees, chest up, heart up. Press away the earth like you're coming through a mini chair and reach all the way to standing. Exhale, hands come down to heart center or at your sides. Inhale, arms lift up. Forward fold down. So this is a different halfway lift to get the back of your spine involved. Inhale, high halfway lift. Head as high as your hips, reach the arms back. Weight shift on your right foot, lift your left. Slowly step back, top down. Inhale up into crescent pose. As though the hands were holding a block. Pull the hands down, tap the fingertips to the earth, and then pull that imaginary block back up overhead. Exhale, pull the hands down, barely touch the floor, and pull back up. Again, pull hands down. Tap, pull, and lift back up. Hands now come all the way to the earth. Twist your right arm up to the ceiling, a new variation, if it feels okay. Turn your left fingertips to point toward the side of your yoga mat. Or turn your left fingertips, the bottom fingertips, to point back toward your back foot. Circle the right hand down. Hands turn forward. Step back into plank. Now, hands push away. Hands like they're trying to rip your yoga mat apart. Pull away. Now with intention. Pull. Don't just drop. Pull yourself down halfway. And with intention. Pull yourself. Don't just push. Pull forward into your up dog. And now push. Down dog. Good. Couple breaths. Find the tiptoes again, switch your gaze, tiptoe step or float to the top. Now find that high halfway lift again. So head as high as your hips, mild bend in your knees, arms reach. Weight shift right on your left foot, hover your right knee, take a large step back into your lunge, sweep your arms up overhead. Same thing, imaginary block, pull the hands down. Barely touch the floor and be patient on the way up. 
mindful. Exhale, pull down. Go slow. Pull back up. Again, pull down. Barely tap. And go slow as you come up. Nice. Take the hands down to the floor. Twist your left arm to the ceiling. And again, right fingertips can turn out to the right edge or can turn all the way back toward the back toes. Another strong breath here. Circle the left hand down, turn the fingertips forward, pull back, and now again, grab the earth, pull down, control. Pull forward, upward facing dog, belly in, push back, down dog. Couple breaths here and downward facing. Come to the tiptoes again as you switch your gaze. Step or hop to the top of your mat. Come right back into that high halfway lift. Arms reach at your sides. Good. Strengthen the back of your body. Push the floor away. Lift to stand. Reach up overhead. Hands to heart. All right. We're going to add on one more variation, this time starting at the top of our yoga mat. Legs are going to come together. Think chair pose. Hands at your sides. Turn the palms forward, bend the knees, drop the hips, find your heels. Now keep the palms facing forward, feel your shoulder blades squeeze together. Sweep your arms forward, lift the palms straight to the ceiling. Now keep the hips right where they are, this is not momentum, this is control. Pull your elbows down, pull the hands back, see if you can get them higher than your hips. Reach back, sweep the arms forward, keep the body still. Just work the arms and shoulders. Pull the elbows back. Pull the fingers back. Palms turn face down, squeeze. One more, sweep all the way up. Bend the elbows. Pull, 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 hold. Weight shift on your right. Lift your left, keep squeezing shoulders. Long step back into crescent. Now, as though your fingertips and your heel were pulling in the same direction, reach your left heel back and spin it down into warrior one. Arms come forward, palms come together, gaze comes up. Hands come down to the earth, and then again, control and pull down. Stay at the bottom of that chaturanga. Inhale, pull forward to up dog, and exhale, push down dog. Take a breath here and down dog. Think thighs reach back, hips reach high. Back to the tiptoes you go. Look forward. Step tiptoe or float to the top. High halfway lift. So reach the spine up. Without using your hands, draw the arms back. Good. Sweep all the way up to standing. Reach the arms up overhead. Legs together. Hands come down at your sides. Turn the palms forward, bend the knees, drop the hips, chair. Set of three. Bend the elbows, pull the hands back. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Palms turn forward. Inhale, sweep it up. Bend the elbows, pull back, keep the body still. Inhale, reach it up. Bend the elbows, pull the hands back. Hold here, keep the arms right where they are. Find your left foot. Lift your right. Step it back. Touch to crescent first. Then fingertips and heel reach down. Heel spins down. Warrior one. Virabhadrasana one. Big breath. Exhale. Hands down. Control. Chaturanga. Pull down. Pull forward. Tone your thighs. Push into the top of your feet. Down dog. Exhale. Gather up a couple breaths here. Find the rhythm of your breathing. Come to the toes and look forward. Step, tiptoe, or float. Right back into your high halfway lift, nice and strong, reach back. Push away the earth, reach to standing, sweep the arms up overhead. And then close out hands at your sides. Bring the legs a little closer together again. We're going to weight shift onto our right foot. Bend the knees, lift your left knee. 
Cross left thigh over right thigh, eagle just in your legs. Focus on squeezing the inner thighs together. Sweep the arms forward. Drop deeper into your hips. Bend your right knee a little bit more. Keep your left foot off the ground. Drop your fingertips low. Come to standing split. Uncross your left foot right into the air. Left foot goes to the ceiling. Now look behind you. Take your left toes down behind your right heel. Bend the knees. And slowly lower your hips down into a seated twist. Turn to your right. Right fingertips behind your back. Left arm goes to the ceiling. Left hand goes to the outer right thigh. Catch a hold onto your bottom foot. Unwind, look forward, stay low. Uncross your legs, bent knees, feet to the earth. Fingertips can be forward, out to the sides, or turning to the back of your yoga mat if that's okay. Inhale, reverse table, lift your hips. Now, try to keep your hips as high as you can. Lift your right foot low. Lift your left foot, stay low. Right foot, low. No higher than opposite knee. Left foot, lower. Right foot, lower. Left foot, lower. Hips drop, legs cross. Go back to down dog. Lift your right leg into the air, one legged downward facing dog. Neutral rotation, all five toes on your right foot should point down. Shift to one legged plank. Leg is a little lower than your hip. One-legged down dog, lead with your foot. One-legged plank, exhale. Inhale, one-legged dog. Exhale, one-legged plank, stay strong. Inhale, one-legged dog. Step the right foot forward in between your hands. Find your lunge. Inhale, crescent pose. Now a hold here in crescent posture. Lift up through the outer hips. Lift up through the outer ribs. Lift up through your outer upper arms. And a strong breath here. Bring the hands down at your sides. Straighten your right leg. Step your back foot in. Put the heel down. Keep your arms at your sides like locust. Send your chest forward. Squeeze your shoulder blades together. Keep the hands floating. Now push away the ground and come up to standing. Sweep your arms up and overhead. Same thing you did in chair. Bend the elbows. Pull them back. Lean your chest forward. Inhale all the way back up overhead. Exhale. Pull forward. Pull the hands back. Inhale, come back to standing, reach the arms. Exhale, come forward, pull your hands back, lower a little bit more. Hands come to the earth, pyramid pose, Parsvottanasana. Plant your left hand and turn your right arm up to the ceiling. Again, left fingertips can stay forward, turn out to the left side, or pick up your left hand, turn the fingertips to point towards your back foot. Get a nice stretch on that left forearm. Right hand comes back to the earth. Bend your right knee, come to standing split at the top of your yoga mat. We're using it just as a vehicle to get us into our next posture. Left knee is gonna come into your chest, so keep that left foot hover holding. Good, come up to standing, left knee stays bent. Nice, right hand comes to navel, Left hand goes to your low back. I want you to keep that cone of power, your whole navel circumference in. Lean forward, go diagonal. Chest higher than your hips. Left leg lower than your hips. Left toes down, barely tap and lift. Tap the toes, lift. Keep your right knee bent. Tap, lift. Tap, lift. Tap. Lift, now hold, keep navel in, keep low back nice and solid, shift forward, open your arms to warrior three, reach the fingertips straight back at your sides, turn the palms face up. Nice, hands to the floor, forward fold at the top of your yoga mat. Take a breath or two here.
high halfway lift. All the way to standing. Reach up and overhead. Hands to heart. Good. Garundasana. Eagle pose just on your legs here on the left side. Legs together. Lift your right knee. Cross thigh over thigh. Drop the hips. Send your arms forward. Turn the palms face up. Keep the legs squeezing together, right foot stays off the ground, fold forward, fingertips come toward the earth, right leg goes up into the air on crosses to standing split. Drive up through that top foot, push away the sky. Right toes drop down behind your left heel, seated twist across your knees, drop that right hip, twist to your left. Right arm hugs to the outer thigh. Catch a hold onto the foot. Unwind. Take it forward. Plant your feet. Plant your hands. Fingertips can again go in either direction. Out, forward, or back. Inhale, reverse table. A little differently this time. Keep your hips. Send your right leg straight forward. Lower. Left leg forward, lower, right, lower, left, lower, don't let hips drop, right leg, lower, left leg, lower, hips come down, cross the legs, one legged down dog, left leg goes into the air, left toes stay pointing down, flex that foot, one legged plank, shift forward, belly in, just like warrior three. One-legged down dog, lead with your foot. One-legged plank, big breaths. One-legged down dog, inhale. One-legged plank, exhale. Inhale, one-legged down dog. Place the foot in between your hands to lunge. Inhale to crescent pose. Again, just giving yourselves a moment here to feel out the posture. As you hug the inner leg together, Lift up through the outer hip, the outer waist, and the outer arm. Ground through your feet. Another strong breath. And then hands pull at your sides, turn the palms face forward, squeeze your shoulder blades back, straighten the legs, step it closer. Here is your flow. As the hands pull back, chest folds forward halfway. Inhale to stand all the way up. Pull the arms up, sweep to the sky. Exhale, pull the hands back, chest forward. Inhale all the way back up to the sky. Exhale, pull chest forward, arms back. Inhale back to stand. One more exhale, hands back, chest forward, hold, keep squeezing. Let the chest fold in a little bit more, let the hands come down. Pyramid pose. Plant your right hand, push away the earth and start to twist open, revolve triangle. And again in revolve triangle, right fingertips can remain forward. Turn out to your right. Or pick up that hand, turn the fingertips to point toward your back foot. Nice work, stay strong. Circle the hand all the way down to the earth and start to release out of your triangle. Bend the left knee. Shift your weight forward to standing split. Draw the right knee then into your chest. Keep your left knee a little bit bent to push away the floor. Lift your chest. Come to standing balance. Right knee in the air. Now, left hand onto your navel. Right hand goes to your back, and it makes sure that we stay um, nice and solid here. Come forward in a diagonal, so not totally parallel. Tap the right toes. Lift them. Tap. Lift. Tap. Lift. 
tap, lift, tap. Now lift, hold, shift forward a little more, warrior three. Reach the arms at your sides. Hold for three, two, and one. Forward fold at the top of your mat. Relax the arms, catch a hold onto a rag doll. So catching a hold onto either forearm and elbow. Sway a little bit. Release the hands. High halfway lift again. Reach the chest forward. The arms back like locust. Pull the navel in, rise to standing. Reach the arms up overhead, big breath. Good. Hands at your sides or at your heart. Full Garundasana, full eagle pose. So set up here with the legs a little closer together. We're gonna start with the right foot on the floor. Left knee is gonna lift. Take the left thigh, cross it on top of your right thigh. Squeeze the inner leg. All right, and from here, open the arms out. Take your right arm underneath your left. Squeeze the inner arm together. Lower the elbows down toward your knee. Bow in. Hands come down, standing split, left leg goes in the air. You know the drill here. Right toes behind your, I'm sorry, left toes behind your right. Come on down to a seated twist. Left arm, twist a little deeper. Catch a hold onto the foot. Turn the gaze. Unwind, uncross, reverse table, new variation. Inhale, lift your hips. Now, weight shift, right knee into the chest. Foot down, left knee into the chest. Down, right knee, down, left, down, right, down, one more, left, down, hips release. Cross the legs, one leg a down dog, right leg up into the air. We're gonna add a piece here too, neutral rotation, toes point down, one legged plank, shift forward, here we go. Stay here in your one legged plank. Take your right leg out to the right side, pull it in out to the side, pull it in, out to the side, in, out, in, out, in, one-legged down dog. Step the right foot in between your hands to lunge. Spin your left heel down to the floor, warrior one. Inhale, arms are gonna lift. Good, sweep up alongside the ears. Close the palms together, take your gaze up to the thumb. Sink into the right thigh. Hold here. As though that right foot is pushing away the floor. Hands to heart. Lift your left heel, turn the toes forward. Shift forward, warrior three. Now it should be a nice strong warrior three after all that work. Leg is no higher than your hips. Toes press back. Hands can come out to a T or airplane arms. A little bit harder. Arms can go forward alongside the ears. Your thumbs should point up. As you reach your arms forward, reach your left foot back. Pull in two different directions. Place your left hand down to the floor. Turn your right arm open, revolved half moon. Left leg stays lifted, adding in a twist. Hold, nice and strong right leg, you can do it and release. Forward fold at the top of your mat. High halfway lift, here we go. Inhale to stand, reach the arms up overhead. Hands to heart, legs together. Weight shift onto your left foot. Lift the right knee, cross right thigh over left thigh. Garudasana, eagle pose. Arms come out, left arm goes underneath the right. Hold here, get your weight back into the heels. And start to fold in, elbows over the right knee. Stay low, keep that top foot lifted. 
Release the hands on cross to standing. Split right back. Press, press, press the foot up. Tap the right toes down behind your left. Come down to a seated twist. Reach your right arm up. Exhale, dive in. Find the foot. Lift your gaze. Unwind. Last reverse table here. It'll feel good because the next one's going to be harder. Lift the hips. Okay, here we go. Weight shift onto your left foot. Right knee in, right leg up. Right foot down. Left leg straight up. Kick up. Down. Right leg up. Keep your hips high. Down. Left leg up. Keep pushing with the hands. Down. One more. Right. Down. Left. Keep pushing up. Down. Hips release, thank goodness. Cross the legs, take it on back, one legged down dog. Left leg goes in the air again, toes are down. Shift, one legged plank pose. Now again, you're gonna stay in plank. Don't let the body move, just the leg. Go out and in, out and in, out, in, out, in, out, in, one legged down dog. Take it forward, find your lunge, spin your right heel down to the floor, inhale up into warrior one. Palms together, sink into the left hip, you get a couple breaths here. Good, don't give up on the posture, just find some breath. Hands to heart. Turn your right toes forward, lift your back heel. Navel in, shift forward, big exhale, warrior three. Good, drop the outer right hip. Keep pressing back with your right foot. Open your arms to a T or reach forward overhead. Arms win, head is lower than your arms. Right hand down, left arm twists open, revolved half moon. Squeeze your inner thigh, keep your right leg lifted nice and strong. Back leg up. Good, another strong breath here. Take it down, forward fold. Rinse it out here, give it a couple breaths. All right, so we're gonna switch gears here a little bit, kind of continue on with our work. Find that high halfway lift, send your gaze forward. Rise up to standing, reach the arms up. Bring it all the way down into your forward fold. Now, sort of our, our normal halfway lift, just lift your gaze. Step the feet back into plank pose. And then control as you pull down halfway. Pull forward to up dog. And then go into down dog. Take a second here in down dog just to find some breath. All right, we're going to shift forward into plank again. Control as you come all the way to the ground. Lengthen your legs back. We want to feel the front hip points onto the earth. A little different variation of locust for you here. Okay, so you're going to have to kind of move your hips to scooch your palms face down right underneath the hip bones. Fingertips are still pointing back towards your feet, and there's kind of a finesse to this. It's not a most comfortable position for your hands, but I want you to push your hands down into the earth, and as you do that, keep the chest down, start to lift your legs. So like you're pushing the hips down into your hands and that helps to lift those legs. Fly your legs higher than usual. Keep the head low. Good and release. Take the hands out. Plant the hands down. Push back into table. Sweep the feet around and come to seated. All right. So I said it was going to get worse. And it is. And here we go. We're going to do two rounds of this posture. So we did reverse table. We're going to do a posture called Purvottanasana, which is reverse plank pose. This is all back of your legs, calf, hamstring, and glutes. Don't rely just on your arms here. Legs together. We're going to point the toes. Take your hands back. Fingertips forward or out to the sides. Squeeze your legs together. Hips forward. Inhale. Lift your hips. Hold. Keep pushing away the floor, but use your legs to lift. Push away the ground with those feet. And exhale, return. So that was just the taste of it. That was the traditional posture. Now this one's going to go fast, but it's just going to be a little bit harder. We're going to add in that knee. 
So a little one-legged Porvotanasana with a bent knee. You just kind of have to don't think, just do. Hands back, legs together. Inhale, lift your hips. Now, right knee into your chest. Down. Left knee into your chest. Down. And hips down. Good. Shake it out. All right. So if you need to pause to find a chair, uh, please feel free. If you do have a chair, go ahead and grab that. We're recommending, um, I'm going to be using a stool. Jenny has a folding chair and we have a blanket folded on top of it. So as you can see, we want this chair to be no higher than your hip crease. A little lower is okay. Okay. This is a posture called peacock pose or Mayurasana. So you're going to lean over that chair right on the hip crease. Take your hands forward. Now you can take the fingertips out to the side like Jenny, or I have a bar here that my fingertips reach back and grab the bar. You're going to lean your chest forward, bend your elbows, and try one leg at a time. And if you can, get both legs up. Now as the chest comes forward just a little bit, don't dip all the way forward. We don't want you falling on your head. The legs lift and fly, and you're using the back body to lift. You try that for a second or two and come down. Now we're going to do this two more times, so you have an option to play a couple times. Okay? This is an arm balance generally done on the floor, but this is a very difficult posture that's made a little more accessible by chair yoga, what we call advanced chair yoga. Okay? So again, maybe finding it with the fingertips out or the fingertips back, flying one or both legs. It's like locust on a chair. Good. Keep squeezing the elbows in, and then lower again. And we'll be trying it one more time just to give you a, a real feel for what this feels like. Okay, and if you got the hang of it, go a little bit higher, squeeze the elbows in, keep your navel in, fly the legs at the same time. Good. And this shouldn't feel like the hardest thing you've ever done. This would actually feel a little bit freeing. This should just kind of feel like a fun way to put everything together. And then come on down. For a beautiful um, demonstration of the pose, you can YouTube Justin Trudeau, yes, as in the Canadian Prime Minister uh, or celebrity actor Jamie Dornan doing this pose, peacock pose, on a variety of desks. So it's a really good one for guys, a lot of uh, posterior strength. Okay, so dear pose, I'm going to have you pinwheel your legs to the left coming to seated. So left foot back, right foot to the inner left thigh. Take a second to get there, fly the arms. Now, try not to lean too much to the right. Lift your left foot if you can, best you can. Hip stability at its finest. Good, left foot down, keep your arms out. Tone the inner right thigh, lift the right foot. Try not to lean too far back. More right foot down. Hands down, take your bottom of your left foot, bottom both feet together, Baddha Konasana, fold in. Just relax the arms and the shoulders here. We did a lot on our wrists, so letting the forearms relax. Go ahead, come on up. And then just pinwheel the right foot out to your right side. So we're in internal rotation on the right leg, external on the left. Open the arms. Try not to lean too far to the left, lift your right. You'll lean a little bit, that's okay. Good, outer hip muscles on the right, lower. Now, inner hip muscles on the left. Try not to lean too far back. Lift that foot. And then lower. Hands down. Bottom of both feet together again. Baddha Konasana. Bound angle pose. Sometimes known as butterfly pose. Just fold in. Go ahead, lift on up, and we're going to come onto our back. So if you do have a bolster or a, a pillow or a folded up blanket just for Shavasana, um, that'd be great. And we are going to work just with the back and, and inside of the leg 
stretch here on our back. So if you do want a strap or a, a towel just as an assist for this posture, uh, it might be a great option to have it. So as you come down under your back, go ahead and bend your knees. Take some time just to lengthen the back of the spine. Draw the right knee into the chest. Hold on to the knee with your hands. And again, this is where you can loop up the bottom of the foot if you want. Or go ahead and reach index and middle finger to the right big toe and straighten the right leg up to the ceiling. And we're keeping our left knee bent for this variation. Okay, because again, you did a lot of work here in the legs, so just focusing on one leg at a time. Focusing on the stretch you get from the right leg. Now go ahead, straighten the left leg, and open your right leg out to your right. Do like 50 to 60% effort. So nothing crazy here. Maybe 70 to 75% effort at max. Bring it back to center, bend the knee, catch a hold onto the bent knee with your left hand and draw it open into a twist, rolling to your left side, opening your right out to a half T position. Roll it on to center, bend your right knee, put the foot on the floor, draw the left into your chest, loop up the bottom of the foot or send the leg up using your left index and middle finger. Go ahead, straighten the right leg, open your left leg out, go again 50 to 60% effort at first, settling into it. Maybe 70, 75% effort max as you relax into it. And then pull it back in, bend the knee, catch a hold with your right hand, and again, open to your twist, roll the knee to your right, left arm out to a half T. And inhale and unwind, come on back to center. Go ahead, stretch out that left leg, take the arms up overhead, full bodied stretch. And if you wanna use that bolster, blanket, or pillow, we're gonna take a different variation here to close up our practice. So just slide um, whatever prop you have underneath the feet. So rather than underneath your hips, um, it'll, be, it'll be about underneath the knees, you're gonna put the feet on top of that bolster. Take the bottoms of the feet together, let your knees open out wide. So this is Supta Baddha Konasana, reclined bound angle pose, but supported by a nice cushion. With the feet elevated, it makes the posture just a little less intense. And I do want you to give yourself the time to actually just enjoy not doing so much work. 
not striving, but just allowing yourself time to, to be and to take care of yourself and take care of yourself beyond the scope of challenging yourself and trying to get strong, but also taking care of yourself by slowing down, finding some softness and some stillness, letting go of the need or the drive at all times, settling into its counterpart of peace. You are free to stay here with your feet together, knees out, or stretch out into straight legs over that bolster in Shavasana. And as always, we're going to let this video come to a close here. Let yourself take deep rest as long as you can. With deep respect and so much gratitude from our hearts into each of yours, we miss you and we thank you for practicing with us. Namaste.